persistent imagery we're going to see of Mo Moses here is actually very weak and doubtless and failing and so on. So he's he unable, himself unable to speak. Yes, he is himself in need of the that discovery of himself and that transcendent revelation as anyone else. Is. You see the transformation of Moses, although he does make that mistake. You see him move from a character who stands well, for God. Mistake. No, of hitting the rock. Like that's oh, oh, oh. the one mistake. <laughs> it's like poor Moses. But he he goes from this character who says, "God, I can't speak." I, you know, I, I I can't I can't speak in front of people. And then he he ends later as this shining figure that comes down the mountain, and people can't even look on him because God says, "You will be God for them." And he has to hide his face because he's so radiant. And it's like that transformation is is astounding. It's such an astounding. And he finishes thing. with unstoppable words mm -hmm. at the end of Deuteronomy. The man who couldn't speak is very eloquent. Yeah.